Hey everybody, Dr. A here, and in this video, we're going to be providing some background information on how to compute the vertical stress beneath the ground surface due to a point load at the ground surface, okay? So um, basically, this was developed by Boussinesque in 1883, and what he did was he developed a formula and, a, and he solved a set of uh, complex equations to uh, compute the vertical stress in any kind of elastic medium due to an applied point load at the medium's surface. Now, for our purposes, we're going to be applying this to soil and we're going to be applying this theory to a point load at the ground surface. So let's go ahead and draw a little sketch to help us visualize what's going on. So I'm going to draw an x-axis here. And I'm going to draw a y-axis here. And then I'm going to draw a z or a depth axis in this direction. So this is like an x, y, z set of axes. So this is going to be a 3D representation. And at this origin, I'm going to put this applied load P, okay? So what this formula that I'm going to share uh, with everyone here in a minute is based on is taking the origin of our x, y, z axes to be the point where the point load is acting, okay? Now let's say that we're interested in the stress at some little infinitesimal point over here beneath the surface of this medium, in this case, the medium being soil, okay? So let's go ahead and sketch some dimension lines here. And this is, this is just a little stress element. We could draw it as a cube if you wanna draw it as a, in a 3D representation. So we're gonna draw some dimension lines here. We're gonna say that we have an X dimension here, and we're gonna say we have a Y dimension here. So we're gonna call this dimension X and this little dimension Y, and then we're gonna have a depth down to the point of interest, and we're gonna call this Z. So this, this length right here is gonna be the depth below the medium surface, and we're gonna call that Z. And again, our medium is the soil, so it's really the depth below the ground surface for our application, and that's Z. Now we're gonna define a radial distance that's in the XY plane right here, we're gonna call this R, okay? So R again is a radial distance that's in the XY plane. So it's actually in two dimensions, okay? Oops, two dimensions, all right? And we're gonna define another radial distance from the origin diagonally down to the point of interest. And we're gonna call that L right here, okay? And this, of course, will end up being a right angle, okay? So L is actually in all three dimensions, is extending from the origin down to the point beneath the ground surface, okay? Now, again, let's zoom in on this little, this little point right here that we're interested in. If we zoom in on it, so I'm gonna zoom in over here, and I'm gonna represent this as, as, a 3D cube, as I mentioned before, okay? And so what we're interested in is the stress, the vertical stress specifically, acting on this little element, on this little infinitesimal element, due to this applied load at the ground surface that has a magnitude of P. So the way we're gonna compute this is the following. We're gonna say, sigma sub z equals 3pz cubed divided by 2 pi l to the fifth power. Now, we can express this l value in terms of this radial distance at the ground surface r and the depth z that we're uh, looking at for where the location of that, that point is. So basically, just using this right triangle right here, we can, 
further say that uh, L is equal to R squared plus Z squared, okay? And so because of that, we can rewrite our governing equation as sigma Z equals 3P Z cubed all over 2 pi times R squared plus Z squared raised to the 5 halves power, okay? Now, if you wanted to further reduce that, uh, or, well, I should say expand it, I guess, if you wanted to further uh, elaborate or expand, you can further say that R can be broken down uh, using Pythagorean theorem into this X and this Y component and substitute that in there. But often um, we're gonna be utilizing this version of the equation. And again, this equation was developed and solved for uh, originally by Boussinesque in 1883. Um, there are some other elastic theories uh, developed by others. Um, Westergaard is another popular uh, researcher who developed some very similar equations and came to a lot of the same conclusions that Boussinesque did. So um, again, this is all to calculate the stress at a point beneath a medium surface, in this case the ground surface, due to a point load at the ground surface. So if you found this video helpful, please feel free to hit like and subscribe and be on the lookout for some other videos on this content.